That wit is what makes Sandra one of Hollywood's most charismatic stars and earned her the nickname America's Sweetheart. But at home, she's best known as mom. I can't believe that your kids are 11 and 9. One's about to be 12. Do you ever close your eyes and picture them in, like as teenagers or in college? All the time. That yeah. both excites me and scares the hell out of me. <laughs> One of my inspirations, Sandra also adopted both of her children and has been very open about their journey, like the challenges of being a white mom raising black children. Sometimes Haley puts her, hand, her arm next to me and Haley always is very concerned with my skin's a little lighter than hers. And I wonder how you, how you deal with that kind of stuff. That was on my mind when they were very, very, very young, is that will they love me? less because I don't represent their culture. And what do you think as, as Louis grows older? I mean, there's been a whole, obviously, social justice movement. How often do you think about those kind of things with your son? 24-7. As a parent of a black child, you have to. You know, as a, a, a white woman, I didn't have to think about that until the day I fell in love like I did, and you realize that there was a whole universe that you had to educate yourself to. In her latest film, The Unforgivable, Sandra steps into the shoes of an ex-con named Ruth. She's struggling to find her place in the world after spending 20 years behind bars for killing a police officer. Don't treat me like I don't a chance. Tell her about me. I love the aspect of what would you have done if you'd been in the same exact position she was in. And you don't know. She's such an incredible character. There was a whole physicality that was different. To get into that body, that soul, that mind of Ruth, how did you physically transform yourself? I started looking at my body and said, what would that look like if I was emotionally eating myself from the inside out? You become a machine that is basically there to protect yourself, to defend yourself, and to hide. Sandra handpicked actor Rob Morgan to play her tough but caring parole officer. You got to decide how you're going to be. I was super excited that uh, they called me for the role. I was like, wow, really? I get to be a PO to Sandra Bullock playing this white woman who did 20 years in jail. We never see that story. Where well, you got to decide how you're going to be. Rob, you had one of the most climactic lines in the film, blood does not make family. Sandra, what does that line mean to you? Validation. You know, like on, on a personal level, I'm forever going, why does the word adopted always precede my children's names? Is it made to make me feel like less of a, a, a parent? Rob, I don't know if you heard our earlier conversation, what we were talking about, Louie. Did you guys ever discuss um, that, raising a young man? And I know, would ooh. always take advice from Rob because oh, of how he lives his life. Get Louie into playing chess early. Because he, he already is. Already is. is beautiful, yes. And then get Louie into martial arts because a He's lot starting of times, that. Starting that next week. That's the best two things, in my opinion, you can do for children of Louie's stature because a lot of times in our community, peer pressure is what pushes us over the edge to from being what you're taught at home to what you idolize in the streets. I know. See? 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 Sandra was right. Rob did give good advice, including the best way to end an interview. Like, how does this translate? Mm. Yeah. I'd be like, mm. He comes in with the piece, and I'm like, you see? And he's like, no, slow it down. Slow, oh, tilt no. the head. I can't do it. I don't have it. But Rob does. Oh, gosh, I loved do. it. They both do. And Rob was saying that, that um, those two things are very important, learning martial arts and chess, because martial arts shows you you're strong and you won't get pushed into anything. And chess works your brain so you can figure it yourself, oh. so you can resist all the pressure because you got it inside. What a beautiful it, relationship oh, they have. And this is, you together. say this is so, so good. It's a great movie. It's called The Unforgivable. It's streaming right now on Netflix. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.